Nick Cannon Mornings on Power 106. We going all the way up. It is that time for the up close to personal conversations. Yes, close conversations with people that I admire, people that are doing their thing, fixtures in the game, and this young lady is all of the above. Yes, we 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 going all all the way in. What's up? You, you good? Yeah. <laughs> you, you you didn't even you didn't even let me get get the full interest that, uh, introduction out. I was gonna be like the the new name, right? Well, like the official name, because I mm-hmm. like the fact that you put the savage mm-hmm. on the end of it. Now, are we losing the doll, or is it? Is it is I've it, been trying to get rid of the doll name, but everybody just so stuck on that and right. attached to it. That see, I, and that's I, I commend that. That's called upward mobility. Mm-hmm. So now it's officially. Cuban the Savage. Yeah. Now, is that just because, like, uh, is that going to be a reflection in the music where it's like, you ain't trying to be on no cute shit no mm-hmm. more. You just going at next. You you were, you a savage <laughs> at this. Nah, not, not so. It's more like bread and stuff. So Yeah, Cuban it's too many savage. dolls out there. Yeah, it's a lot of dolls, so. It's a couple of savages, too, but. Yeah, like 21 Savage. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, I'm gonna not call as you, many. I'm going to call you Cuban the Queen. Exactly. Can I do that? Yeah, of course. No, I'm gonna just go. We gonna go ahead and do that. Cuban I think the Queen. You just might have to change my rap name. There it is, Cuban <laughs> the Queen. Uh, it's a it's a pleasure. Uh, I love your movement. I love your here. process. I see Thank what you're you. doing out there, yeah. and and you know what I, I like about you so much is the fact that how you just overcome adversity. Mm-hmm. You you resilient with your with your music, with your life, mm-hmm. how you move on online and stuff like that. You you don't got time for the bullshit. Mm-hmm. You just really focus on you. Is that now to be so young and to have mm-hmm. that type of mindset, where does that come from? Um that's just from growing up in the streets all the time. I already deal with a lot right. of stuff. So now since I'm twenty one I know how to move, know how to act since I just been on my own like my, most of my whole life. Yeah, you seem very mature. Like mm-hmm. you you're not you're not really yeah, everybody about, the, say that. about the games and all of that. Mm-hmm. Is that just because just obviously like you said, coming from the streets it's having just a, a life because my lifestyle that's it. So, so do you ever get to be silly and be fun? Yeah, I mean twenty one is always, it? I always have fun, be right. silly, like right. you know, my friends go out, you know, do all type of stuff. So what's Cuban the Queen do for fun? For fun, uh, I don't really. <laughs> See, I just I have fun all the time. I don't really be having. See, that I be having fun, fun when I go out or whatever. Like, so you a club girl? Uh, you like the club? I can't fuck with the club. I'm too old the, for the club. I fuck though. with the club. You know, I just turned 21, so I just so, start so, being so. able to drink really officially. Least, officially, <laughs> <laughs> getting myself so. See, I was yeah. at 60 when I was young. Like, I would mess around and like kind of. Like all of the drinking and stuff, and mm-hmm. go to clubs before I was twenty one. So by the time I was twenty one, I was over yeah, that shit. Yeah, that's how I be feeling. But now, I just you know. And now, because the spotlight is on you, especially because mm-hmm. when you pull up to the club, it's a bag involved. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you ain't just exactly. going for. So fun. that's when I do have fun. Because you know, <laughs> you know like I'm, I'm getting paid in this bitch. I'm in the bag. That's, that's my fun right there. <laughs> there it is, getting to the money. That's that's the most fun. Mm-hmm. Now, what is success for you? Like, what do you? What would you say? I right, I'm actually doing it. I've I've arrived. I've made it. Like. I feel like success is like overcoming whatever, you know, whatever situation you was going through. Because I just feel like some people be like, oh, I, I succeeded. I su- like I'm successful in this. And some people might not look at it like that, but they don't really know where you came from. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, well, you've already done that. You've yeah. clearly already done mm-hmm. that. You've overcome so much. Uh, and and then to be out here and, like I said, operating on a, on a focused energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so on the horizons, obviously, you got... You got uh, the new record, which is crazy. That AGF was mm-hmm. ass getting fat. <laughs> yeah. Now where did that concept? Come? That sound fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Where did that concept come from? Oh, it was just a little fun hook. I, it was really a verse I did in the studio, and then my engineer he was like, "Oh, I really like you know this this line." And then right. He made he cut the verse into a hook, so that was the hook. So it was like ass getting fat, and then yeah, yeah. And then that, so so I mean. Is is that is that the process? Is like, oh, you was looking in the mirror and like, oh, it's oh, it's, I feel like people keep on telling <laughs> it, me that. Gr- oh, it's getting there. <laughs> I just feel like people keep telling me that or whatever. Like, I'm older now. I'm 21. You're getting you know, them my, hips, them, them them grown I'm, woman. I got hips. my grown woman body. You know what I'm saying? I was 17 when I started rapping, so people just like, damn. So now the ass is getting fat. You about to take it to a whole new level. <laughs> yeah. See if see if I was your daddy, you just I'd having go, fun like, with the music. You put that ass away. Uh, <laughs> Cuban the queen. I don't want to hear about this ass getting fat, but just a little fun. That's what everybody rhyming about right now, and mm-hmm. and it got it got a bounce to it too, mm-hmm. and it's it, it's dope too because it's not just you on the record. So tell me, mm-hmm. everybody who's on the record. Uh, we got Rini Rucci and Ruby Rose. Um, yeah. they both up becoming artists right now. 
And so you females. just give you giving people opportunities on your Yeah, I feel like I always love to give up and coming females an opportunity, especially if I see potential in them because yeah, a lot of people don't do that when you up and coming. See, they that's just what like I'm talking they about. like I'm gonna wait till she get a feature with that's Lil queen. Wayne and yeah. then I'm gonna hop on the way. That's you know queen saying? shit right there. Like For you sure. giving people opportunities mm-hmm. and looking out. Like and then and the record's crazy too. Mm-hmm. So so yeah. what 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 can we expect for this? Is a, a, a video jumping off? We, we just dropped a video uh two days ago. And it's a whole lot of ass in it. Yeah, it's a whole lot of ass. Ass in that's, it. that's getting fat. I feel like it's an LA Bob and it's like a little well, how did I miss so I need to see the that. ass getting fat video? Yeah, you, y'all not sure? Yeah, because I, I heard the rap. I was like, yo, this record is stupid. And I was like, I can't Thank wait you. for the Appreciate video. Yeah. So now, and all the ass in the video is of age ass, right? Of course. Okay, I was making Everybody, sure I don't get me in trouble. 21 and up. Because that, that is very like a term when <laughs> that's something your uncle said, girl, you little ass getting fat, ain't it? Like, you know, that's a little weird. <laughs> like, so I'm going to make sure I'm not being the pervy not uncle. Everybody 21 and up. There it is. All right, so I can, I can watch and enjoy. <laughs> and make it happen. So, uh, so much going on in in your professional life, going in the mm-hmm. right direction. Uh, you you got you. It, does does Cuban the Queen have a a king that she she resides no, next to? I'm single. Why? Um, I I feel like my biggest fear is like I don't want to get embarrassed. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's mm-hmm. really insightful. Mm-hmm. Coming from a young woman, because obviously we know this, social mm-hmm. media, everybody get messy. There's so many things mm-hmm. out there. You you trying to protect your energy. Yeah. And so like, yo, you there could be dudes and stuff. You're mm-hmm. like, but you ain't, fuck mm-hmm. boys out here just be trying to throw you out. So you say, I don't even want to get embarrassed. So I'm going to just stay single. Exactly. Keep it on the low. I feel that element too. Mm-hmm. That's why I think. I mean, I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. I mean, exactly. I'm a lot older than you, but it's like <laughs> I, 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 I'm in the relationship world. I've been through some shit to mm-hmm. where it's like I'm all about protecting your energy. Mm-hmm. Like I, yeah. I'm really on some like, yo, you do you. You exist where you exist over mm-hmm. in your square. I exist in my square. Yeah, pretty much. If we come together, cool. But I don't. I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me nothing. Move how you move. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't want to have no ownership or or authority over anyone. I don't want nobody yeah. to have that over me. That's For you to be twenty one, to yeah. and have that. That's like again. That's wise. Like how mm-hmm. did you get to that space? I just feel messing like, with fuck boys. Yeah, <laughs> just just going through. You know, just being like you know, um, it bears. You know, by you know by what somebody else do. Really? You know, when you together with somebody, whatever your partner do is going. You know, fall back on you. And especially being a young woman, because yeah. a lot of times they can get the the raw end of the stick. Mm-hmm. That's just like dudes out here, like you know, obviously calling women out their names, treating yeah. them like whatever, and all mm-hmm. that stuff. And then you got to, even if it's somebody you want to ride with, you trying mm-hmm. to stand up for him, and he yeah. treating you like shit. Like so Yeah, you, I just feel like and then me, I be so about woman empowerment, like just, you know, like stunting on niggas shit on right. niggas. Like you don't need a nigga to be independent. So if I'm with a nigga out here and he embarrassing me how to look to, you know, people that's looking up to me, you know what I'm saying? So like what what's some embarrassing stuff that you like, I can't stand for that. Like I ain't even fucking with okay, like what's like, the type of shit niggas together, do? If we together and you talking to another girl, that's off top embarrassing because 'cause I'm be posting you love you. Now lovey, okay, now okay, let's break you this got down, queen. This homegirls talking what about is, what do you mean talking? If we if we together. Okay, y'all together. We, together. we in a relationship. We're in a relationship. So he can't he can't have no conversations with no other women? Nah, he can't be you know what I mean. Like he can't be So he can't be posted with another chick. He can't be posted talking nothing. It's gotta be me. Shit. Just so only you. He can't yeah. ask, he, and, and some dudes don't even be ready for that, like you know Especially not at y'all. Like no, like, not at, like cause at, at what age I feel group? like at no age. Men what, <laughs> they say men don't mature till forty. <laughs> and that and that's a lie. At no uh, age. So no, but real talk. So like what What's your what's your age group that you rock with? Like you say, like you won't you won't go no older than this and no younger than this. Um, I won't talk to nobody that's younger than me. Ever? <laughs> no, like it was a nineteen year old that got his mm-hmm. shit together. Nah, I never met one. <laughs> All right, so and then and I, then the oldest. I think the oldest person I ever talked to was like twenty seven. Okay, so, so you, I, you I, ain't Lori Harvey out here. You ain't <laughs> with, you ain't out here with looking at the ditties and and all of them. You like mm. so twenty seven is, is as high. Yeah, as I feel girl. like that's the. Okay, so that yeah, y'all still y'all, that's that that makes sense. So mm-hmm. twenty one to twenty seven. I really don't be like looking at the ages. I just don't talk to nobody younger than me. But this is like. But a lot of times the dudes that are older than you are still mm-hmm. immature. Yeah, they it's, it's all the same. They so don't. it's all it's all the same. So age yeah. really don't matter. Age do not matter. <laughs> all right, so Just we got we got that understanding now. You, I seem like you you like a street type nigga. You like a, a dude that that can, can he be a square? I feel like 
I don't just pick I pick it one type because everybody, you know, like different. You know what I'm right. saying? I don't be like, oh, I need a hood nigga. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't got, so you don't have a specific type. Yeah, I don't got no. You ain't got to be type. tatted up with the muscles and the scar on the face. Nah, like I don't go around just looking for a specific type. You know what I'm saying? And so, so, so then, then light skin is on the table. You, you, you can go with a little pretty boy with some curly hair. Mm. And you, and she's like, I don't <laughs> fuck with them light skin. I feel like light skin <laughs> girls don't talk to light skin boys. Cause then y'all just gonna be creating more light skin people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But not because there's something. Is it true? Are light skinned dudes softer than than dark skinned dudes? Yeah. Right? <laughs> She's like, yeah. Nah, I don't want to start nothing. I don't want to start nothing. But it's a tendency. Like light skinned mm-hmm. dudes have to prove themselves a little bit more yeah. because they. I just feel like sometimes in a relationship with girls, you know, you have a cute light skinned dude. They be, they think they, they, they look they, better than <laughs> us. Like relax. They in the mirror longer than you. Like mm-hmm. I look good, bitch. <laughs> They taking more pictures than me. See, so so that is it. That that's the true thing. Uh-huh. So so uh, speaking of pictures, it's not a myth. What, no. about, <laughs> what about dudes on Instagram? That's always like you know taking pictures of themselves and, I mean, and trying to be an Instagram star. Like I see a lot of these dudes out here trying to be Insta hoes. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> like, I I see that a lot too. I see that a lot too. I I feel like if you if you working on something like you know you got like something in works, not just Instagram. So so you got to hustle the business and you promote it through Instagram. Yeah, exactly. But if you just a light skinned nigga trying to sell your pictures on Instagram, like mm-hmm. I like if you a dude and you selling flat tummy tea, it's a problem. <laughs> it's it's a problem. <laughs> all the dudes with the little I, you know it's, it's I see some dudes in the pretty mm-hmm. little thing ads. I'm yeah, I'm, okay. <laughs> see, see, but if you got something going, you know. I'm saying it's okay, but if you just take so if it's about if that's part of your hustle, but if your only hustle is it, see, I feel the same way about Mm -hmm. women. Like, I'm not mad at you. I understand where you're coming from on the gram selling. What if Mm -hmm. you got a business? Mm -hmm. But if all you do is Instagram, get your bag from Instagram, I'm looking for some more substance than Mm -hmm. that. And re- even just as a as a person, I want to associate with. Mm-hmm. I, I want to talk about more than what's going on on Instagram. Exactly. You know, so I feel like if I was looking for somebody, mm-hmm. I actually like dealing with people who either don't have an Instagram mm-hmm. or have a low amount of followers, like ten thousand followers and under on mm-hmm. Instagram. We could talk all day, mm-hmm. but when you in the hundreds of thousands <laughs> and you feeling like you famous, oh, I gotta check in with my fans. <laughs> Bitch, that ain't your fans. I, I hate that line. <laughs> You got to do some shit to have fans. No, I really hate that lot. I hear a lot of people say that I need to check on my fans. Yeah. Like, you ain't got no goddamn fans. <laughs> them followers. <laughs> like, no, nah, it's so, a big difference, though. Like, yeah, fans so and followers. we definitely on the same page as that now. <laughs> all right, so we're going we gonna to get to it all the way now because we're still talking about, you know, why, why mm-hmm. we single. Mm-hmm. Now, when you get into a situation and it's somebody that you ask, because that doesn't mean you're not going to like nobody. Mm-hmm. That just means like you ain't trying to get embarrassed, as you mm-hmm. said. What if it's somebody that you really starting to like? Mm-hmm. You know, it's a good look out there. Mm-hmm. Like, would like, cause would you date a rapper or a fellow artist or something like that? I feel like if I'm talking to a rapper or artist, whatever, we gonna be talking for a couple months, like you know, before before the world know. Before the world, you know. gotta make sure it's solid. So I gotta make sure I like you first, anyway, and not just know. your artistry shit. Mm-hmm. Because now, is it ever like, oh, yo, this is a good look, so let me pop I think at you because he really... popping, I'm popping, let's bring it together? Nah, I never you really looked at it like that. Like... So you really got to sincerely like the person. Mm-hmm. Like, you know I don't mean? care for the... But uh, um, that's the relationship shit. goals. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. how people. How, that's how stuff get torn down easily. Like you don't really focus somebody. You just see, you know, what they got going on. You too. I don't like that. So ain't no rapper. I'm out, never too. I'm ain't never, no rapper out there. Just be like, yo, that nigga. I, I, I'll holla at that nigga <laughs> right there. Like yo, I, for real, for real. Um, no, I just. Uh, I, I, you took too long. <laughs> you took too long. She's like, um. No, no, I just be like, okay, like, okay, this nigga cute. I can say nigga. Yeah, yeah. This nigga cute or whatever, but I'm never just like, oh, this is a good look for me. Like, I, I just don't think like that. Okay, I- so what nigga is cute? What? <laughs> <laughs> we, we not even gonna put him. You ain't gonna like, put him out there. No. This yeah, this the this the time. You know, everybody. This is where everybody's tuning in right now. No, cause I'm the type of person I say somebody cute and they'll make me mad. I won't like. Oh, uh, you want? Oh, so it ain't even about they look. Mm-hmm. You really don't fuck with light skinned niggas for real. You want you want somebody who, who just really solid. And mm-hmm. you ain't gotta even. So cute is not an exterior thing for you. Yeah, no. It's really about how he carry himself. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. You like old hood, nigga. I can see where it's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like somebody that's solid, that can protect you. So uh-huh. once you find somebody that you really do like, uh-huh. and it's like, okay, I'm trying to stay single, does it just stop there? I feel like my, 
Wait, what? Like, so you said because you want to stay single, but it's somebody you like. Okay, but no. Okay, so if I'm talking to somebody, I feel like I won't post it on the media anyways because the media tears down relationships. Right, facts. Very smart. So... But you can, so you, so you can have a relationship. It'll just be not, it's not, you're not out there trying to flaunt it. Mm-hmm. So, and y'all mm-hmm. growing. You're trying to broadcast. Yeah, broadcast. yeah, y'all growing together. Mm-hmm. So you could, you could low key have a man. Mm-hmm. You just say, you don't have a man for others. You don't mm-hmm. have a man in the public. Mm-hmm. That's wise. But, but I'm, I'm single right now. That's not what's no, going on. That's not right going now. on right now. That's not what's going on right now. She's like, I am available. I'm just letting you, all you cute <laughs> niggas know. <laughs> it, 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 it could go down. Well, all right. So now that that we know the the single is established and mm-hmm. you focusing on your career and mm-hmm. all of that, what if somebody come in? They really trying to match your fly? Like, yo, I'm I'm doing my thing too. We could elevate together, and we can be that power couple or the relationship goals. No. You up for you? Still don't want we it. We just gotta do it separate. Separate. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm gonna thing. go get my bag. Do you go get your bag. Exactly. All right, all right. I, I commend that. That's that. That's very wise. And like we said, you know, AGF ass getting fat. Ass getting fat out now. It, it, it's out now with the video. With the video, I still feel yet. like a little dirty uncle. <laughs> that is a dirty uncle turn. Hey girl, yeah, it's getting fat now. You want to come around here? <laughs> like, like, but the song is fire as hell. Uh, now. You know, I'm just saying, mm-hmm. remix. I'm trying to jump on that. Whatever we got to do, just let me know. Send me the <laughs> send me the track so I can do the Dirty Uncle remix. But and <laughs> and uh, wilding out, man. We got you got to come rock with us. We got to. I, I watch the show every day. So I'm saying, All the time. you think you can handle it though? Because they be no, I think I think. I think I'm going a, I'm to a crack a joke. They're not going to laugh or something. Oh, you ain't got to worry about that. We surround <laughs> you with the funniest people. Long as you, mm-hmm. long as how we just talking about everything right mm-hmm. here and we open and fearless, you mm-hmm. do that and you have fun, you'll kill it. For sure. All right. So, like I said, my I, I changed her name, ladies and gentlemen. It's Cuban the Queen. Cuban the Queen in the building. And, uh... Mm-hmm. Ass getting fat is out now. Now usually, you know, I, I leave it there, but I can't. You see, mm-hmm. I got the vest on. Mm-hmm. We got to keep it real. I got to put you in the firing squad. I got some questions for mm-hmm. you. I'm gonna shoot from the hip. You just answer them however you want to answer them. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. First one. It's always the first one. Mm-hmm. Loved or feared? Loved. See, she see she trying to act like she tough, but she <laughs> won't love. <laughs> and I'd rather be loved than feared. I feel like when you feared, it's just not good. All right, all right. That's because like, negativity comes with that eventually. Yeah. Eventually, and, and and scary people shoot. <laughs> Ooh, that's wisdom right there. I don't so. know if y'all know how deep that really is. That's real shit. Scary mm-hmm. people shoot. Wow, that that that's one for the books right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of, okay, we're gonna go here. What is Cuban the Queen's biggest fear? I really haven't like really thought about that. You fearless. Yeah, I feel like I'm fearless when it comes to stuff. See, when you can, when you really come, it's not from like it, nothing that I really stay away you know, from. Like, oh, yeah. So you yeah. just like I'm with it. Like mm-hmm. I'm from it. I'm been through enough. Whatever you got at me, throw it at me. I'm gonna tackle it. Basically, that's what's up. All right, we lighten it up a little bit. Favorite movie of all time? Um, set it off. Okay. <laughs> That's my shit. Shouts out to Jada and Queen Latifah mm-hmm. and F. Gary Gray. Like, that was that shit. Mm-hmm. I was like, you too young to know about that movie, though. How? Like, when they came that out. movie came out before you was born. Well, but soon <laughs> I still watch it to this day. Nah, that's what's up. That's mm-hmm. one of my favorite joints, too. Shout, F. Gary Gray is one of my favorite directors. So, you know, he, he did so him. many things from Set It Off to Friday to mm-hmm. shoot to one of the fast and the furious is like the dude is just mm-hmm. just dope with it yeah. uh all right next question best advice you've ever received the best advice i've ever received um <clears throat> i don't really know i can't think i i be getting a lot of advice from people but i feel like you go one here after i never got no advice <laughs> that really changed my life like really oh shit like no never nobody told you y'all, like you should become a rapper <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had to tell you that at some point. Okay, yeah. Who told right. you you should become a rapper? Um, I feel like everybody told me that, though. Everybody, like, already thought I was a rapper. So they was like, oh, you should rap, you should rap. Because you, you started your fame, you was just on the gram, right, or on mm-hmm. social media. Yeah. And you were getting a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. And then somebody, who was the person like, yo, let's let's make a record? Like, you. you. Uh, I don't really know. 
So how did where did the idea come from? Probably people on Instagram. So so, <laughs> so all all your fans was like like this, when, this when I had the fake fans, <laughs> the that, following fans. But it was smart. Whoever told you that, mm-hmm. like you really you you finessed it and turned it into a career. Yeah. So what's probably some bullshit? Like what's the worst piece of advice somebody told you you should? Um, the worst advice. I you feel should like date I such and such. Yeah, people do always tell me, like, people be trying to play matchmaking and stuff. Be like, oh, do this, do this. I feel like when people tell me do stuff, they be like, do, clear it up for the meeting, do this. I feel like that's the worst advice ever. It's because you don't want to clear shit up. Because I don't got to clear shit up. Like, assume whatever. When you, you real, want. you real. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, favorite cereal? I don't eat cereal. Or you don't eat milk. cereal? Mm-mm. What is wrong with you? I don't drink milk. So. I don't fuck with milk either. See, I was, first of all, I grew up broke, all right? <laughs> so we had cereal with water. <laughs> so I was We very, had dry cereal. Yeah, so, or like I would just eat the cereal. Mm-hmm. And then because I don't really fuck with milk, I, I don't do yeah. dairy at all. Mm-hmm. But I would put like the, like, that's why I only like chocolate cereals. Mm-hmm. Because like I would have to turn, the, the little bit of milk would have mm-hmm. to be like brown because <laughs> fucking white milk like freak me out mm-hmm. so you ain't never had so even dry Mil- cereal yeah i fuck with dry cereal but I, when i was younger i can't remember what cereal i was eating probably like from school or something but now i don't like buy cereal at like, all so what you eat for breakfast bacon eggs she said pancakes. i don't get up till three so <laughs> shit i'm eating burgers I'm eating and shit <laughs> i'm eating lunch at this point crab legs <laughs> uh, is crab legs your shit yeah, I fuck with crab legs. You been the queen crab? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I want to go today. See, I see. I was about to say, like, what's your favorite restaurant? So mm-hmm. we gonna go. Well, out here is queen crab. It's new. Yeah, yeah. Nah, mm-hmm. that's what's up. Shouts out to them. All right, uh, childhood celebrity crush. Um, when. When I was younger, I always had a crush on Chris Brown. <laughs> Didn't everybody in your age group had a, a crush yeah, on I know, Breezy? But- Cause he's a little bit of every type of guy. Mm-hmm. He's super talented. Mm-hmm. He's a nice guy, but he a thug at the same time. Mm-hmm. He got the tattoos. He'll punch you in your face, but he can dance his ass <laughs> off. <laughs> like he's yeah. he's a little bit of everybody. <laughs> That's my little brother right there. Love the breezy. Uh, all right. If you're on an island, mm-hmm. you only can take three things. What you taking? Uh, I'm marijuana. Yay! Hey, Got to <laughs> take that. Take the whole plant so you can grow some more. That <laughs> right. taking the plant, um, my cell phone. Right, so you can and communicate. I feel like I would take Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> probably a camera. Okay, <laughs> well, if you got your phone, you are, that is a camera. Nah, a real camera, a like, real one to, to record. Oh, oh, so you can do so. Oh, so mm-hmm. you can get out there. See, that, that's very smart. Yeah. All right, uh, favorite cuss word. Bitch, obviously. Bitch? <laughs> she said bitch, obviously. Because <laughs> I'm that bitch. <laughs> exactly. I'm not mad at you. Most prized possession. Most prized pos- Me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ownership. I feel that. All right. Um, One word that describes Cuban the queen. Queen. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You have it. We officially changed their names. Cuban the queen. Ass getting fat. It's out right now. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. More continued success. This has been fun. All right? For sure. There it is. Nick Cannon Mornings on Power 106. Close conversations. Let's get to it.